this is a fucking amazing clip. This is an amazing clip. Because this is what... This is what denial looks like. This is what delusion looks like. In its real purest form. I swear in my life, this is delusion. And in its purest form. And lack of self-awareness is purest form. Personally for me. You can't get any better than this. But I've also... I'm at a point now with this person where I feel like they're getting so much criticism for their lifestyle choices that I might have to be the contrarian that lives deep inside of me and latch onto the thing of like, hey, if they want to live their life this way, just let them. Who gives a fuck? They clearly don't, they clearly like it. They clearly don't give a fuck. So why should you? That's where I'm getting at. But I feel like their answer here was incredibly, incredibly, incredibly lacking in self-awareness and very delusional, personally. Let's play it here. And I started drinking with the Russian Mafia. That's when I really started drinking in life. But you're not, you would not consider yourself a problematic drinker. I'm definitely not. Definitely not. I'm definitely not. Um, you drink to have fun, but not drink because you're like, if I don't drink, I'm, I'm fucked. You, you no. don't consider yourself an alcoholic. I'm uh, 100% not an alcoholic. That's <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> but Crasher gets asked categorically, do you consider yourself an alcoholic? He says, no. <laughs> and you're like, excuse me? <laughs> but we all do. Everybody else thinks you're alcoholic, but you don't. How is that possible? <laughs> Especially when you consider that we don't see him drinking day to day, right? We don't, we're not in his life. And he probably tells us a sanitized, censored version of what he gets up to because it got to a point now where I think he's probably fed up with everybody getting, you know, sticking their nose in and trying to give him advice and what to do. That he probably refuses to share some bits or does what most addicts do myself included where you maybe play down how much you did how much you didn't do and i'm sure he does that so the fact that he's saying that as an answer is fucking insane the fact that he did it so quickly also is a sign of how living how how in denial he is let's do it again one more time because you're like if i don't drink i'm, I'm fuck you you no. don't consider yourself an alcoholic i'm a hundred percent not an alcoholic that's consider again. yourself an alcoholic i'm a hundred percent not an alcoholic Consider yourself an alcoholic. I'm uh, 100% not an alcoholic. That's awesome. Good the that is crazy. Especially when you look at him in his picture. Don't get me wrong. It's not the best representation, but he's wearing like a red jersey and a red hat and his face is super red. And for the longest time, Bert would always say this is because of his rashes. He's got some sort of allergy thing, which I'm sure is true. He probably has some sort of eczema or psoriasis, I'm sure. But it's probably not helped with the drinking. I'm sure drinking the way he does is not going to help things. Yeah, what's we just saying? Yeah, literally every alcoholic on earth has said that exactly. He'd been going through hard for 30 years. Kevin Smith looks like, like if Jake the snake got bit by his own snake. But I also think in my eyes, I'm getting to the point now where I feel like people should just leave Bert alone. If he wants to be a raging alcoholic, why can't he be? That's the thing that I'm kind of in two minds of now. The contrarian that lives inside of me just wants to say, just let him do what he wants. If he wants to be an alcoholic, if he wants to fuck himself over, damage his liver, shorten his lifespan, look like a fucking exploding, you know, Savaloy and have that crazy stomach, leave him. He clearly doesn't mind it. I don't see why it's an issue for people that he should stop. I know it's obviously destructive and maybe some people look at it like, hey man, you got everything in life given to you. Um, you're now in this amazing no, give it to you, well, you worked hard for your your career and you've you got all these amazing you know benefits from it you've been able to be a multi-millionaire many times over because of your you know jokes that you tell on stage you've got the best life why are you taking it for granted i get that side of things but he clearly doesn't care that much his family don't give a shit as that much either because it's providing them with a cushy lifestyle so i don't see the issue of it personally i'm getting to a point where i'm kind of like let him live exactly um, Robert Henry Poe if he dies he dies like just let him do his thing I don't honestly I know it's I know it's bad to say and it's clearly not the thing that you'd want to encourage but he doesn't care they don't care he's having a good time clearly loving life like and he clearly doesn't think he's an alcoholic so <laughs> what can we tell him <laughs> you know you guys a grown man he's in like his 50s or something if he hasn't figured it out by now that he can't be like college frat boy his entire life then he's never gonna figure it out really in my opinion um but yeah what do you guys think 
the machine hasn't even made 7 million on a 20 million budget plus 20 million on marketing his movie career is over and killed over other careers chances of getting them <laughs> actually good point Marty Moon talking about that movie oh. <laughs> again <clears throat> I like to always share very 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 unpopular opinions here no um Robert Henry Parrott says, but according to A. Zinger, he will outlive all, outlive them all. I'm still dying on that hill, Robert Henry Parrott. I don't care. This is my hot take of all hot takes. I've always said this. I still think Burt Kreischer will end up outliving all of his comedic peers. Life is just unfair like that. The guy that doesn't take any care in him, care about, you know, doesn't look after his health, doesn't take care of his fitness or anything or do anything to concerning fitness that would only be any way beneficial. There's a person that usually outlives everybody else. Many of you people have had the same people in your family. The ones who smoke 20 packs of cigarettes a day, that drink all the time and live fruitful lives until they're, you know, in their high 80s or 90s and die of natural causes. Not even fucking anything to do with, you know, stuff to do with cancer or whatnot alcoholism it's just from natural causes it happens all the time and i have a funny feeling bait bert bait bert crash will be another example of it especially with these comedians who all think they're super healthy like brendan thinks he's super healthy joe rogan thinks he's super healthy all these guys that take a million and one supplements and steroids and nicotine pouches and drinking whiskey all the time and drinking around the clock and living on a comedian's diet of like fast food and dive bars and all this like all those guys i think they're healthy they will end up i think hitting the can um RIPing, whatever it may be way before burt kreischer will any way shape or form i don't care i bet you any money i bet you life is just unfair like that because everybody online is like kind of rooting for him to die so they can prove their you know their kind of hypothesis right that he's you know, an alcoholic and should stop. But I think it's gonna actually be the opposite. He's gonna outlive everybody. You just watch, watch wait, wait and see, wait and see. If you're not long, if you're not around to wait and see, then we'll send you an email. Don't worry. <laughs> Movie.